My name is Curtis Burton, and I am the color guard choreographer for the River Falls High School Marching Band. It is my duty to teach the people in the color guard how to spin rifle, saber, and flag. And also we have another choreographer who teaches dance movement as well. I started color guard my junior year of high school. I was in the marching band since my freshman year playing saxophone, and I just thought that color guard would be more of a challenge, and that's what I like as a challenge. And to be able to actually see what you are accomplishing rather than hearing it, I thought it would be a good change for me. And ever since then, I've just kept on spinning and learning new tricks and being able to teach people new things. Here at River Falls, we have all girls in the color guard, but you get to some color guards and there is a mixture of guys and girls. This is for both genders whoever is interested and is willing to be able to portray the sounds of music from a band. Coming into each year, you're gonna have new people that wanna be a part of the color guard. And for some of them, this isn't for them. So it's really hard to try to get those people up to the level where everyone else is in order to keep our program growing and nice and strong. I think that seeing the girls in the color guard perform at competitions and seeing them grow throughout the year and watching something that you taught them that you had thought in your head and then you can actually portray it so people can visually see it, that's really pleasing to me to see and then at the end of the year at state competition it's just great to go up really high and see the show from up high and having these girls perform it all out just like you imagined it would be. I believe marching band color guard is more artistic, where when you get into the military, it's more based on your strength and just looking strong and having the presence of being in the military, not necessarily spinning and being active such as a marching band does. Some people might not think that color guard is an actual sport, but this weekend, WGI, Winter Guard International, is actually holding their competition in Dayton, Ohio, which this in titles is that there's high schools from all over the nation and even some people from all over the world who come here to this event along with college level people who perform at this competition. It just shows that this is a growing sport and there's more people getting involved year after year and it's something that people are going to want to be interested in as time progresses and more people are aware of this awesome event that's going on right now. I know numerous people on campus who were involved in Color Guard in high school and uh, we've been talking and think that it would be a great opportunity to start a Winter Guard on campus. Now what this means is that we would be going to competitions throughout the winter, we'd be practicing all winter long, and I just think that would be a, another good activity to put on campus. If anyone is interested in being in a Winter Color Guard or getting one started on campus or just wants to spin, they can contact me at curtis.burton at uwrf.edu.